In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a linear search. A linear search is one of many standard algorithms that you'll come across as a programmer. The principle of a linear search is to examine a list of items one at a time to see if it contains an item that we're looking for. I've already declared an array of 10 strings, and you can see I've initialized it with various items of fruit. By the way, you can see that the program contains the data that we're going to search. We say that the data has been hard-coded into the program. This is untypical. In reality, a program wouldn't normally have the data written into it like this. You'll see in later videos that a program can actually read the data in from an external file, perhaps a database, or a text file, or a spreadsheet, or even a web page. You'll also see how one program can call another and pass it some data to work with. For the purposes of demonstrating a linear search, hard coding the data like this is absolutely fine. We'll start by prompting the user for an item to search for. We'll call it the target value. So I've declared a variable to store it. And to keep things simple, I'll use an input box to prompt the user. Now I'm going to use a loop to scan through the array to visit each item one at a time. I'll need a loop counter. And I'm going to use a for loop. I could use a do loop, it's a matter of preference. A for loop will mean I can write slightly less code. As I visit each item, I'm going to check to see if it's the target value. I can do this with an if statement. Now this isn't the finished product, but it's well on the way. Let's see what happens. I'm getting a message for every item which is not the one I'm searching for. But I did get a message saying it found it. Let's try it again. I'm looking for a star fruit this time. There is no star fruit in the list. Well, it's on the way. But I don't want a message for every item which isn't the one I'm looking for. So let's improve it. Rather than doing some output inside the loop, I'm simply going to keep a record of whether or not I found it. And to do this, I'm going to use a Boolean variable. A Boolean variable can have one of two possible values, true or false. Immediately after it's been declared, it'll have a value of false. So, inside the loop, if I find what I'm looking for, I'm going to set be found to be equal to true. And I don't need an else clause. Because if we don't find what we're looking for, be found will never get set to true, and when we exit the loop, be found will still be false. All that remains to be done now is to test be found once we get out of the loop to see if it's equal to true. Let's see what happens. We'll start by looking for something that we know is in the list. Found it. Just one message. Let's try again. We'll search for something else that we know is in the list. Yes, there's a fig. What about something that isn't in the list? Not found. Now just a couple of words of warning. When you're comparing strings in VB.NET, string comparisons are case sensitive. So for example, if I search for banana, with a small b, not found.
However, banana with a large B is found. You've seen something similar to this in an earlier video. I can remove the case sensitivity of a string comparison like this. So I'm comparing the uppercase version of the target with the uppercase version of the array item. I can achieve exactly the same effect like this. L case means lowercase, so I'm comparing the lowercase version of the target with the lowercase version of the item in the array. And it's probably worth mentioning this as well. I can use dot to upper instead of U case. Now there's one more improvement I can make to the efficiency of my program. If I find what I'm looking for, there's no point in examining all of the other items in the array. If B found gets set to true, then we can force an exit from the for loop. For example, if we're searching for apple and we set B found to true, there's no point in looking at all of the other items in the array. We already know it's there. So there you have it, a standard linear search.